How's it going, y'all? 420 Nation. Welcome to another episode of the Rolling Paper Review. I believe this is episode number 62. Can you believe we're still doing this? All right. Can you believe people still watch us? That's the part I can't believe. I can't believe we have followers. I can't believe that we have subscribers. I, c I never would have thought that we would start b building a following doing this. So thank no. you. To all of you for on, on everything i mean we're up on twitter we're thank up you to on our Facebook. viewers uh, we're thank you to YouTube. our subscribers thank you to our followers on faith twitter and twitter facebook friends and a special thanks to our sponsors yes tricks right at here. 107 north may street in thunder bay ontario run on in there they'll take care of all your smoking needs uh and let them know that the rolling paper review sent you sure why not Actually, a buddy of mine just called me today and told me he went down there and bought a bong. And as soon as he went in there, he was like, hey, the Rolling Paper Review sent me. And they were like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah cool. We like that. Okay. So. They like it. Today, Everybody's we have happy. a vintage classic. Vintage. Like him. <laughs> sure. Okay. Stella. Stella Sweet Cherry Pink Cigarette Papers. And how are we for in formation? 50 leaves. Mm, we're kind of a fail on well, info. Don't forget though. But they couldn't have a web address back then. No, oh no, <laughs> no. Uh, this pack is from the late 60s, early 70s. So expectations for the packaging actually to be honest the packaging on this is a little bit ahead of its time so and this is before they knew about giving stoners information that's right and this is a, a product of england so stella sweet cherry pink cross the bond cigarette papers i don't really smell anything no no you gotta do the lift though too Sometimes the lift mm. helps. Yeah, but my sniffer ain't really working right now. No, I don't smell shit, man. I smell cardboard. Okay, so... Well, there's a little bit of generic sweetness. Okay. So, what do you grade it for parents? Me, personally, what considering I mean, it's time... That's, yeah. the, that's the key. I gotta it's, remember like it's time. 50 years ago, you gotta remember. Yeah, so, for the time, it, this package was actually ahead of yeah, its time. pretty good, I mean... So, um... I'm actually going to give it probably a 7 out of 10 for appearance. Yeah. Scent. There is a minor generic sweet scent. Minor. minor. So for that, we're going to give it probably a 4 out of 10. Well, yeah, but you got to remember as well that from the time, I mean, the technology wasn't there like it is now. True, but I can't go by what it smelled like at the time of manufacture because I wasn't alive yet. You were just say so we're gonna go <laughs> with I was, four but... out of ten on scent uh let's uh light this shit well how did it roll it rolled fine hang on i'm lighting can't interrupt somebody when they're lighting that's my bad mm. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix that so it looks like he actually hit me and then i can sue him Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's bad. No. Oh. <coughs> it's 50 years old, though, don't forget. Just saying. Okay, so the roll on it was actually quite nice. It was pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to fix this before it gets even worse, though. grab nicely on the tuck and everything. So the roll itself is going to get a 10. The gum, 
50 years later, one lick, one stick. So that gets a 10. The burn, we have to wait to judge. We have some smoking to do. So 420 Nation, I hope you're medicating with us right now. Because um, we enjoy sharing our medicating with you. Okay, well, we're getting, it's 50 years old, so we're getting a bit of limp dick there, but. Ooh, not bad. Gotta feed that thing some Not bad, and uh, the coke swirl is slowly starting to fix itself. And I mean, even the ash, I mean, I'm not getting flakes or anything, so 50 years old, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's 50 and he's pretty flaky. <laughs> Goes without saying. So here we go. Ash density. Time for the shake test. Wiggle it just a little bit. Nothing. Still there. Fucking held there like glue. So that's going to be a 10 out of 10 on ash. There's no doubt. Okay. Okay, ash gets a 10. Getting a, a wood smell though for the aroma. <laughs> Yeah, the aroma I'm not like, finding too pleasant. Uh, I'm I'm actually going to give it a low score because I yeah. got that heavy, nasty wood smell. I think that has something to do with the age of the papers, possibly the way it was stored. I don't know. But again, I only have the book that I have to go by, so that's what we go by. Um, and as it sits right now, for aroma, for burning aroma, that one's going to yeah, get a four. I was going to say pretty low. How's that burn doing? Well, it's fixed itself. Right on. That ash holds on pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's burning pretty good. That actually corrected quite nicely, yeah. to be honest. After that first bit of coke swirling in that, yeah. Burn is going to get a 9 out of 10. That's quite nice. Coke swirl at the beginning, fixed itself. Coke swirl again a bit, yeah. and then fixed itself yeah. again. So, so that's pretty good, especially for a 50-year-old paper. I got to keep saying that because, I mean, <laughs> it's 50 fucking years old, probably maybe even more. Who knows? Okay. Smoothness. Gary? I haven't hacked. Yeah. Pretty smooth as far as I'm concerned. I'm finding it actually quite it smooth, too. It has a tiny bit of a bite. Tiny mm -hmm. bit. But, I mean, it's a wood paper. Right, but even the bit, bite that it has has less than the bite on our last episode with the drum papers. And uh, yeah, uh, that yeah. one scored eight, so I'm going to have to give this one a nine on smooth. Well, we're not all the way down, though, yet either, but still. See, when I lick my lips, I'm getting a little tiny bit of generic sweetness. Just... I'm sure during during their time they probably tasted bomb. Oh, well, probably. So smoothness you gave eight, right? Smoothness I gave a nine. A nine, okay. So I want to make sure and we're on the I, same I, page. I, I think it it earned that nine. <coughs> <coughs> like I said, even as I'm getting low on it, it's still quite smooth. Some might say I'm a smooth operator and I'm 50 years old, so. Nobody says that. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't actually. think anybody even thinks that. I'm Just say I'm the only one that said that, so. There we go. Yeah! But I'm the only one that needs to, because as long as I believe it, fuck you, people. <coughs> Quantity <coughs> versus cost. <laughs> as I mentioned, <coughs> Z vintage pack. <laughs> Made me laugh there. <coughs> okay, as I mentioned, this is a vintage pack from the late 60s, early 70s. Um, the amount that I paid for it <coughs> is significantly higher than what it would have been. Than <coughs> <coughs> anything else, <coughs> really. <coughs> <laughs> because again, you're buying history. <laughs> is the smoothness still a nine or <laughs> no? But, uh, smoothness is changing from a nine <clears throat> to an eight. Told you, man. Once you get down to the end, okay. And you know this. 
We should um, read it a bit. So, <coughs> I, I think the price that we paid on this was about 12 bucks for the book. <laughs> After shipping and all that was done, it was about 12 bucks. Well, this is from for, over the pond. Don't forget. For 50 leaves. Um, so, <coughs> quantity versus cost on this is going to score quite low. It's going to be about a two. Roach. Zero. It's out. out. Overall, they're nice. They're nostalgic. You know what I mean? So, the package is quite basic, but again, for its time, it was ahead of its time. We have a final score of 64 out of 100. So, uh, what does that mean? Is it a recommend? No. Uh, for the collector? Yes. Uh, the collector... If you want to pay that amount of money know, for it. For the collector, go buy a book. Have that one book in your collection. That's all you really need. Um, Smoke one, just say you did. Right. It's not something that... Um, it's not something that you're going to smoke on a regular. No. Um, it's. It doesn't have the flavor in it that it's supposed to have. It doesn't have the scent in it that it's supposed to have. It's old. It's vintage. Okay. So, again, for the um, recreational smoker, the, the even somebody that's medicating a gram or two a day. Uh, Don't do it. No. Don't do it. No. Um. So, it's not that it. being said, 64 out of 100 for Stella Sweet, sweet cherry, cherry Pink. Not very sweet. All right, 420 Nation, thank you for medicating with us, and we'll catch you on the flip side real soon with episode number 63. 63. We're out, guys.